Welcome to my remake of my Disney Ariel Kiss the Girl bow and wig tutorial. Just showing my pieces here. I've got my outer fabric, a lining, some wadding and some net. Last time I just used net and it wasn't quite as successful as I hoped so I'm going to try wadding this time as well. My rectangle for my bow measures approximately 40 centimetres from left to right lengthways and about 24 centimetres from top to bottom in height. And all the other pieces are exactly the same as well. I have then gone ahead and spray starched this with this can just to make it extra bit stiffer. You just follow the instructions on the back of it. You literally just spray 20 centimetres away and then iron on and it stiffens the fabric a bit for you. The next thing I did is I sewed the net to one layer of blue cotton all the way around. And then I've attached my wadding by catch stitching in the corners and halfway along so it doesn't move. So, next thing is to start pinning the other piece of blue cotton to the same side as the other piece of blue so that your wadding and netting is showing outward on the inside. Okay, after sewing down along the edges Remember to leave a gap here because you want to turn it inside out and to clip your corners to help your bow turn inside out more easily. Like so, and I'll turn it inside out the right way. Okay, next thing to do is just to close the opening with some little catch stitches and just turn those ends in so they're nice and neat. The next thing I'm going to do, now my bow's all sewn up, is bunch it up in the middle like so. And I've made a little tie thing to go around the middle. Like so. So that'll just go around the middle of my bow. Just holding it at the moment. Anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and do that now and just sew it around the centre. These are my two tails I've made, I've sewn them together and I'm just going to thread them through the back of the bow here. Last time on my bow I used these snap fasteners and sewed them on to clip onto the wig. This time I'm going to just try a ribbon and just tie it onto the ponytail. See how that works. Hey, this is my third attempt at doing my area wig. Here I have a wig from New Look. It was called Ashley in HR which is henna red. Give you guys a quick look at it. I personally think this is quite a nice red without it being too bright and in intense. And it also has this skin top which allows you to move the fibres a bit easier. I've now run ahead and I've actually styled this. It took me a couple of hours of messing around so because I really don't want to take it apart again <laughs> and redo it I'm going to show you on this old wig basically what I did. First of all, I section the fringe off, just coming back to the proper one here, to sort of about here near where the skin top ends. I then section the sides off because they're going to be folded backwards into a ponytail. 
The next thing to do is to watch this video called Styling Aerial Wig and it's by this nice girl called Raquel, if that's how you pronounce it. She did an excellent video on showing you how she back combed her wig and it's really helped so thank you very much. Glee. I just did what she did and I took the sections and I did a lot of back combing without getting it into a tangled mess which you really don't want. So once I'd done all the back combing like I did in her video I then went and did this. Right, what I did on my wig is I So I've got the fringe here is I've pulled it back away that way in that direction and I then put some hair grips in making sure they go right through to the cap as well holding the hair that way over the top So now the whole fringe is pinned back that way. Now what I want to do, bearing in mind this is now an old and untidy wig, so it won't look as good as the one I styled, is because now you've wanting to the hair's wanted to bend and stay that way, you want to bend it back against itself. So you take your fringe then and pop it over like that. So I'll do that again. Okay, so now you've pulled it all that way, put it right back over, and that's basically what I did. So then it's just up to you really just to sort it out and make it look all... as puffy as you want it to be you can loosen it a bit if it sticks right out or pull it right back but that's basically how I did it don't know if you guys can see it just there there's some hair grips underneath side there as well so when you pull the hair back against itself it's still trying to struggle and be pulled that way so it's basically fighting against itself which is brilliant because then it allows you to make this great big quiff and then I just gently hairspray this a bit try not hairspray it too much because it'll go hard as rock it does take a little bit of patience and a little bit of playing around. And I've just pulled that side back to the ponytail. And I'll just take you around the other side. Now where it ends here, I've just put some hair grips in place for now, but I might actually sew that down in place. So I don't have those horrible hair grips showing. And basically earlier I had this bit. Um, this is actually coming from the fringe itself. So I've just had to pin that in place there. Because I'd already done my ponytail earlier when I pulled my side sections back. And it really does pay to buy a better quality wig because the better quality wigs have extra hair on the inside so if you pull the hair back it doesn't show too much of the wig cap. So it really does pay to buy a better wig.
this is now my finished aerial wig. Would have been nice if there was a bit more on the length of this wig, but I was more concerned with getting a nicer colour and a better quality wig this time.